Hey guys, this is Tim. Welcome back to another episode of Boone County Beekeeper. Uh, Sunday, April 24th. Uh, been a crazy week. We'll get into that here in just a minute. So here's the intro, and then we'll talk a little bit about hive top feeders. Like I said, it's been a crazy week. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the weather for just a minute. You know, uh, <laughs> I heard on the radio somebody said there the other day that uh, they'd like to move out of West Virginia. And the other guy, he asked him, he said, well, why would you want to do that? He said, West Virginia, you can have all four seasons in one day. And you know, <laughs> that's the truth. Uh, this weather has been absolutely, it's been crazy. So started the week off on Monday uh, it was snowing late late to get snow here it's just crazy it's been cold rainy windy almost every day but the past couple days has come back around uh, yesterday was 88 degrees so I mean we've had winter we've had summer but I don't know where springs at. it's crazy so anyway so let me tell you a little bit about my week uh, got home Wednesday night from church and when I got home, I thought, I've got to check my bees. Well, I went out and checked my bees, and uh, right here in this apple tree, I don't know if you saw the short that I put on there, but there was a basketball-sized swarm hanging on that limb. And it was getting dark. I, man, I didn't have anything ready. So luckily, I had this blue box right here. I had that blue box. Um, I had it ready to go and uh, I had just had painted it so I, I throwed it together real quick I put uh, put what I had in there and I shook them out it made me a little catcher there real quick with a, a Home Depot bucket screwed on to a one before <laughs> so I caught that swarm I thought okay so I got him in there uh, the next day I put uh, some sugar syrup on it so Friday I come home and I'm going to mow my grass and when I come out here weed eating around my fence uh, I looked right here in that apple tree right there and guess what there was another swarm hanging could not believe it so I don't have anything to put anything in uh, I called my buddy he come over uh, yesterday on Saturday he come over got him in a box so I came home yesterday evening after he had done put them in the box. The box was still in the tree. And I look in this one here. And guess what? Another swarm. Not very big, but you can see his apple maze he brought over. They're in the box. Uh, saw a queen in that one over there. Two queens in this one here. Crazy. These bees have went nuts. And you know... I don't know, I, I tried my best to, to keep ahead of them. Can't do it, man. <laughs> this weather and everything, you just you can't do it. It's been so bad I couldn't get in there this week. So apparently I've had some, some sales. If you remember, I made those splits. Uh, apparently I must have left the seller too. And I, there was something was wrong with this queen here in this hive. I don't know. Uh, for whatever reason, they've been wanting to replace her and, and they have. So I went through them real good yesterday. I'll show you what I got here. So, uh, in this white hive right here, that's that's the one that's been giving me the fits. Uh, I got in there yesterday, and I had one frame that had uh, two supersedure cells. I had one frame that was loaded on the bottom with swarm cells. I mean, loaded. Uh, everything else was fine. 
So I looked and I looked and I looked and finally I found that coin. Uh, I've got a, a new coin in this box. I don't have any eggs. I don't have any larva, but I do have a new coin. Hopefully she'll get mated this week and maybe we can get back. I still got a lot of bees in that box even though they swarmed a couple times. Now, if you notice here that green box, I went ahead and I put a, a honey super on there. And the reason I did that, uh, that new comb that I put in there the other day, when I made those splits, they've uh, they filled that full of honey. Man, they are bringing in nectar like crazy. So I put my excluder on. I'm hoping they'll go ahead and pull that honey up, start putting it in this top box, so that way she'll have some places to lay. Now, our splits, let me tell you about this little split here, the little, the little pink one right here. I went ahead, I got in it. Uh, bees look good i've got a new queen in there so so she made it she's not started laying yet but she made it uh, this blue hive right here uh, that's the one that i just caught this swarm here in this apple tree uh, i went through it good guess what got a new queen in there so i'm in good shape on those three you get over here at this little one the fourth one the little purple one man i went through it twice uh, the bees are way down uh, i seen a queen in there on thursday I just glanced in her, I seen a queen in there. Uh, she's gone. Apparently she must be the one that was in this tree right here. So what I can do is I'll combine, if, uh, if nothing happens, I'll combine that in with the, the blue hive, get my numbers up a little bit. We'll see what happens. So yeah, it's been a crazy week. So all right, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about hive top feeders. Um, you know, feeding your bees is very important, uh, very important and a lot of ways you can do it you know, i've seen people use pails i see them use uh, the jars on the front of the uh, the hive a lot of different ways to do it now i have built some uh, some feeders and i wanted to show them to you you know we talked a little bit about that already but i told you i would show you and i actually just built four and then i'm going to take up to the new yard and there's nothing fancy like i said these are along the same lines as uh, Don the Fat Bee Man. I seen him put some on there on his nukes. So uh, pretty much the same design, just on a bigger scale. So I'm gonna turn this camera off and I'll turn it back around and I'll show you what we've done here. All right guys, here we are. Here's uh, one of the feeders. And as you can see, I use 10 frame equipment. So what I do is I just go ahead and I build a box. Uh, the height doesn't really matter. You can make it uh, to suit you. You know, it depends on what kind of a container that you want to put in there. Uh, so mine, I think, that is a one by ten, and I didn't, I didn't cut it off or anything. I just, I left it, you know, the same size. Um, looked around and, and finally found some containers big enough that I was wanting, and I got those at uh, the Dollar Tree, like a dollar something a piece. But you see, there's nothing fancy about them. Uh, nothing whatsoever fancy so um basically what they do is they'll come in here and uh, i've got a little tunnel i'll show you uh, they'll come down and they'll they'll feed off of this board back here and this screen right here and you just fill this full of syrup now I'm, let me show you over here uh standard box so what i'll do is i've got uh, again i use three quarter inch plywood on the bottom which is it makes it heavy but that's what i had so that's what i used as you can see right here, when I cut that out, I leave me a, a little trough here, and I think that's like four or five inches, um, just a little a little tunnel that goes down through that, and I put my, my bottom on there, and I leave about, oh, I want to say a half an inch of space right here so your bees, you know, your bees can, can get through there. Um, I took me two pieces of one by, and I think these are like six inches long or so. And what I do is I just bring them level with the sides of that little hole that come up. I put me a board on the front, and then the way this little ladder works, you can see this ladder, uh, nothing fancy. I mean, all it is really is I cut me a one by, I cut it, and uh, I think it's about eight inches wide okay and then 
uh, I bevel each end. I think this is a 15 degree bevel right here and 15 here. So that would be your, your back. And then I just cut me two little strips about three quarter inches. I go down here and right here. And these are 15 degree, 15 degree cuts. Uh, I take me a piece of flashing for the back and I bend it. So what I do is I basically, I just go ahead and I glue and, and I put uh, brad nails in this on the top and then right here and you see how what kind of shape that that makes very simple so then I just take me a little piece of the uh, shore ply that I use I cut me a piece put it across the top so you see they have a place there to get through and then basically I just take me a piece of eight in, uh, eighth inch hardware cloth I wrap it all the way around staple up now on the back I take that flashing because you'll have a, a little, you know, you have a, a slit right here. I take that flashing and I go ahead and I roll that over so we don't, you know, kill no bees. I just fold that over, make me a little shelf, and I staple that in. So then all that you do, I come over here and I mount that right there. I put me two screws. I'll mount that right there. And then I cut me a piece, you'll still have your tunnel will be coming up past this so I just cut me a little little piece of one by right here and I just take it down to the top and then like I said here's the the pan that I bought down to family family uh, dollar or I think it's a dollar tree and you can see here's the way that works so I put my tray in and I actually what I did is I, I leaned these back a little bit put your tray in put your ladder on put your two screws in and I go ahead and I, I just seal that off to where they can't come up out of there. Uh, these work really, really well. They really do. Uh, I know I put, uh, I put uh, a feeder out here a couple days ago on that swarm that I caught out of that apple tree. This blue one, and you can see the top. Uh, that right here, that is the feeder. And I got in there yesterday and they have absolutely sucked the bottom out of it. So they seem to work really well. I used them all last year. And uh, I tell you, when the, when the dearth hits, uh, they get pretty aggravated. They get mean. Uh, that way you don't have to get in your hive. You can just go pop the, uh, the lid off, fill it full of syrup, and you're good to go. So... All right, so that's about all that I got. Uh, I will give you a little update. Yesterday, I went up and I worked some more on the bee yard. I got all my fencing up. Uh, I got my stands put up. Uh, I don't have them leveled up. I'm actually gonna take tomorrow off. I gotta do some stuff with my dad. Uh, some personal stuff there where my mom had passed. We gotta, gotta do some running. Uh, we'll get that done. I'm gonna go up and finish it up. But what I, I got to level those stands up. Uh, really, that's what I got to put my box in there to, uh, to put my battery in. And we're pretty much ready for bees. I did go check my traps yesterday. And I'm going to tell you, I don't know of anybody here in this area that has called a swarm yet. Uh, the weather has absolutely been so bad. I mean, it's just it's, it's amazing. Uh, been crazy so hopefully it looks like uh, 80s again today and tomorrow and then it's gonna it's gonna turn back off cool again and, and start to raining again so I don't know uh, they definitely are swarming uh, or they are down here I know that but these bees have went crazy now I will say I think in that white hive I think I finally got them fixed I went through every frame really good uh, I got rid of all those cells that I had in there. I have no more eggs. I have no more uh, larva, nothing. So I've got a lot of bees. I've got some brood that still has to emerge. But I got that little, little young queen. So hopefully she'll take off this week, I hope. And uh, maybe she'll start laying. And we'll get ready for the flow. Now, we've got probably... 
on a usual year, probably another couple of weeks till the, the big tulip popper flow comes. I don't know, man. It's this weather so crazy. It seems like everything's running behind. So I kind of hope that it does run behind another week or so. So maybe I can build some bees up here. Uh, but they are they are packing in some nectar. You know, uh, I got apple trees blooming, and uh, there's a lot of things in bloom right now. And uh, all this down through here, my neighbor over there, uh, that's all privet. Uh, that'll be blooming before you know it. Uh, I've got a, a big American holly back here. Uh, it should be blooming pretty soon. Uh, it's about the same time as the tulip poplar. So it's getting ready to happen. We just got to catch some swarms so we can get some, uh, some bees up the other yard. Well, guys, I'm sorry, but that's about all I have this week. Uh, been, a, been like I said, been, been crazy. So, um, haven't really been able to do anything bee-wise as far as, as getting in there and getting any filming done because it's just been too bad. Weather has been crazy. So, all right. So, listen, guys, you take it easy. God bless you. I hope you and your family are well. Uh, you have a good week, and we'll see you soon. I want to thank you for stopping by and let me say this uh, if you're on here if you're not subscribed give me a like give me a give me a, a, a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button but listen on the comments if you don't care uh, let me know where you're from you know that, that really fascinates me let me you don't have to give me your name if you don't want to or whatever but let me know a little bit like where you're from uh, do you have some bees you know uh, I, I, it's really interesting to me. So, all right, guys, take care. God bless.